it was half a size too big and in the water with frantic paddling it sort of disappeared. Slipped off. Cheers. Cheers. Trip number two. All set up. Feel that breeze. Are you guys ready to hear what our plans are? Yeah. We had to reroute our plans. We are not going to New Jersey or New York. So Keene Lake is the one place that I really wanted to go that has the like the pontoon boats and then the paddle boards and stuff that we can rent. It's kind of up in like the northeast side of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So I switched things around. That was supposed to be our week two. I made it week one and I did just decide. I mean, I've I've spent nights pouring through campgrounds. So that's like Tuesday, Tuesday to Tuesday, 915 to 922. And then 922 is the night we need a harvest post. And then, which is a Tuesday. Then we go to, have you heard of the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania? No. Well, there's a Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. Oh, just like the Niagara of the West. Exactly. Mommy. So we're going there. Mommy. Okay. Mommy. And we're there the 23rd Mommy. through the 28th. Mommy. Then we go to Lake Erie from the 28th to October 8th. Mommy. So it's 10 nights. Mommy. So, nights in Lake Erie. Yeah. Niagara Falls or whatnot. Like if we can get back into New York, we can take day trips and do stuff. I want to try to go fishing. You want to? I know. I know. You are like. <laughs> you should see this face. He goes. You go you're fishing? all about the fishing. A lot of campgrounds. I want to go fishing. I want to go fishing. I know. I know. Some have like stocked ponds, but I don't know if I ended up picking one of those or not. Do we go south to see Christy? We may just have to ship her some stuff and we get will, some. We will eventually, of... for sure. But I, I would love to go meet her and meet her family and like hang out with them. We will have then been like, like that starts week four almost. So we'll almost have been Do traveling for a month at that really point. We're still kind of in the PA area. Do we want to start heading more out? Like, how long do we want to stay there? It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just throwing out things that yeah, to think about. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. And it's Halloween, so if I need we, to be booking campgrounds ASAP. If we definitely want to see Joy and Chris, which I do, then maybe we go see them for a few days after Lake Erie. And then after that, go to Pittsburgh. And then after that, we're due west. Well, then we're in Ohio, in Indiana. I, again, I need to know ASAP because I've got to try to find campgrounds in October. Okay, so we're going to visit GMP and we're going to go on Thursday. That's tomorrow night. And that is tomorrow, it is tomorrow night. night. Yeah, and on Thursday we're going to meet Aunt Megan, Uncle Dave, and then we're going to be at work when we're grown-ups. Then, on the fall one, we're going, going camping. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You have the best plans. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I want that kind of dog. <laughs> hey, if you had a dog right now, what would you be doing? Honest answer. Yeah, me neither. Take it on a walk. Take it on a walk? Yeah. I'm going to try to find you a puppy soon, okay? Mm, right now, just now. Well, in a, in a couple mm, months. What? So I will text, try and get a hold of Joy and Chris, and I'll talk to Christy. I just don't see us hanging around that area for the whole month of October. Do you need a game for right? Like, I've got friends in Wisconsin. The Joseph, it, there's like tons of people in Minnesota. There's Lee and Tiff in Iowa that want to see us. Like, yeah. We can hit Missouri, the well, Vandemore. Like there's people Mommy, everywhere. And so like, like it's like two days with you, two days with you, move we, on. We also, Mommy, but we also need Mommy, to figure out about Christmas. Excuse me, like, Mommy. Where we are going to be. Excuse me, Mommy. My 
my gut is that Montana or Northern Wyoming will get a white Christmas for sure, but we might be there till January. That was the plan. Late January. So that's what I'm saying is we have to do more research on, on where where we can go that's not blizzard conditions, but that is still snowy and that they manage the roads and we can still like pack up and leave a week later. If we're in Montana and it snows six feet, kind of screwed. How are we going to bring my snow tube? We're gonna go skiing. Do you know what that is? Also, like campgrounds yeah. that are open and what operating is it? during that time. What is it? Like we may need to be further south than what we, is think, it, we think right now. Mommy? I mean, I don't want to freeze, but I want the white winter. No, I want so a white like, Christmas too. Mm -hmm. I, that's that's I our goal. That's a, yeah. But I'm just saying, there's a difference between white Christmas well, in Montana uh, and white Christmas in. But that, that also changes things because I'm like planning. Kansas. I'm planning this. Little heart, little heart ticks, not. No, I know. I mean, we have Daddy, to consider that too for one. like Daddy, January and February because that's, I mean, that's still winter. Daddy. I understand what you're saying. We can't really see all the things when it's winter, but I wanted to have it's winter. not even see all the things. Like we have a giant bus. It's not like a snow machine. It can it can camp in that weather, but it can't drive in snow drifts. Okay, but I was still thinking we would head there. We would stop in one of those for Christmas. We would head to the Pacific Northwest, go all the way down during winter, and then snake back up, and then hit those again, and be there all spring and summer. And then hopefully we're doing year two, so we don't have to feel like we're leaving, and then in year two we're snaking back down to, like, Texas. And I'm just saying we might have to be further south than we are thinking right now. Okay, so then yeah, we gotta figure out Christmas. We're about to get a storm. Christy came to put the mats in underneath and found that we have some water dripping out of there down where where we really don't want water to drip. So now I gotta figure this out. And I can see can't see back in there, but there's water running down that little PEX pipe. So now I gotta figure out why that is. Hopefully before the storm comes. Christy, I need your help. I help, Daddy. Okay. I'm not sure where it's coming from. This is the water line that runs up to the kitchen sink. But I can't see if the water is originating from this T fitting in the middle of it or if it's all the way up at the faucet. Now it seems like it's on the hot water one at this fitting. Did I also mention it's dinner time? So not only is there a storm coming in, and we have a leak behind under our sink, it's dinner time, and I have to access the fitting from outside the RV. Awesome timing. First night at our second trip. Starting to get the hang of this thing. Thankfully it was an easy fix. All I had to do was tighten the fittings where the PEX line joins the stainless steel braided line and that solved the problem, no more leak. But in my haste to get dinner ready, I forgot to record that. So just wanted to let you know that the fix was easy, it's all taken care of, no more leak, and now it's time to eat. So you want an RV? Well, that's why we're taking test trips. Well, I know, but it's also like, that's everybody says they're like it's not if it's when yeah. things will break and you're gonna have to figure out how to fix it
Riders in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Yeah. We are going to go paddleboarding. Yeah. Get some water time in. You can rent canoes, you can go um, kayaking. There's whitewater here, so you can do whitewater rafting, whitewater kayaking, tubing. tubing. Um, we've which been, we've done that. We've been tubing many, many, many times. Actually, like right after eight years ago, right after our wedding, we came tubing here with friends. Pink bus is moving. All their buses are colored, so Kate's loving watching the colored buses go by. Um, but it was a couple months after our wedding, we came tubing. A storm came through, and we were all kind of scrambling to get to shore, and somebody lost their wedding ring. Yeah. It was half a size too big, and in the water with frantic paddling it sort of disappeared. Slipped off. So now it is a precious at the bottom of the river for some are you gonna keep, golem to find. Are you gonna put your Kalo ring on yes. or are you gonna keep your No I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put that one Let's on. not give the river no. two of your wedding we'll rings. Leave it, leave it with one. <laughs> yeah. Alright so we gotta go watch the instructional video and then we're headed down to the water to jump on some paddle boards. Ready? You ready, buddy? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Just got our safety briefing and we are ready to go. So we're gonna drive down to the put in area, get our boards. Obviously we got our life jackets already. And we're gonna hit the water. Looks like it's turning out to be a beautiful day. Hopefully the storms stay away. But I am definitely going to put my other ring on just uh, you know, just to be sure. Good job, buddy. Watch what you're doing.
lost my balance. <laughs> Buddy, I'll help you out. Good job. <laughs> Mommy, I was having fun. You were having fun? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. I was okay underwater. I know, you did a great job. I was okay. That's right. That's why we want you to learn how to swim. What just happened? We fell into water, but Mommy jumped in, but I drowned. <laughs> Most. <laughs> so I was planning to jump in the water. Spencer was changing the settings so he could capture this. Uh, the plan was to have Cade lay down up front, and I lost my balance. I went in. Cade went in. Spencer was still holding the camera. Not, not us. <laughs> River Riders is awesome. We've used it before a lot for tubing in the past, but today we're stand-up paddleboarding. They have all sorts of stuff, like we mentioned before, kayaking, canoeing, all that kind of stuff. But they also have like ropes courses, zip lines, and lots of super fun outdoor stuff to do in a picturesque setting. This place is awesome. Good job, Bubba Moose. Give me a pound. Boom. all the little stuff, the paper and the leaves and the twigs, and those will catch fire. And then when the big pieces get really hot, they'll catch on fire too. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Hey, good job. Boom. We just made our first fire. Guys, come enjoy the fire. Yeah, it makes me wonder.
Gigi and Pepe are going to come. God bless you. God bless you. And Gigi and Pepe are going to come in with us and we're going to paddle board. Good job, Bubba. Well, we are back. We loved River Rider so much yesterday when we went stand-up paddleboarding that we decided to bring Christy's parents back with us today and go canoeing. So we're here waiting for them to get our canoes out and then we're going to jump out on the water once again. And once again, we will be hoping that the storms stay away. You ready to go canoeing, buddy? Yeah! been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world tonight we came into the town of harper's ferry i love these little historical towns especially on the east coast because they're so old the buildings are hundreds of years old, built out of stone, and they're still standing and they're still strong, and it's awesome. So now we're gonna go check out some of the historic stuff around town, and then I think later, we're gonna get some ice cream. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out. To the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand oh, Hey, darling Across the bridge, on the road with a couple 
Hey, what do we do? I love the wings. Okay, what do you see? They're going coming. Okay. With the wind blowing in your hair, we can look back some day. There you go, sir. I understand that we only get one life. I want to make it count, honey. Come on now and take it. How's your boost pack, Bubba? <laughs> Good. Good. Did you add ice cream? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have food tracks. <laughs> yes. Oh, she has some too. Yeah, that's like, yeah, you got the same one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have food tracks? Looks like she got mint, mint moose tracks too. I got chocolate mint moose. Yeah. Oh, they have a garden hose. <laughs> oh, Pepe's gonna hose you down. <laughs> no! Today we are at Catoctin Creek National Nature No Nature Center. Park Center. Nature Center. We were supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. So this is our plan B. We C. were C. We were going to go to the Maryland Heights Trail in Harpers Ferry, and when we got into Harpers Ferry, the parking was pretty much non-existent. So we and we were there last night, and we already knew that it was like tight. It was I mean, it's busy. a little it old is Saturday afternoon. Town. Um, but it had been raining there too, and so we yeah. kind of thought, maybe naively, we thought we would get a parking spot. <laughs> so on but our no. way down here, we saw Catoctin National Park. Which I've actually been wanting to go to for a while. I've seen a lot of pictures from lo local people in Baltimore going and visiting it. It looks really beautiful with some gorgeous overlooks. Yeah. So I, when I saw that sign, I was like, oh, we could maybe do that. Um, so that was a great plan B. Yeah. So we looked that up, looked up what we thought that was. Yeah, you looked it up and you're like, 45 minutes. I'm like, oh no, mine says like 22. <laughs> it's so close. And mine was the nature park, not the national park. Right, so a little bit smaller scale, but we had a nice pavilion to eat lunch. There's a playground for Cade to play in. There's, uh, I think, some water access down there. Yeah. And there's a really cool nature center um, that some nice people just told us has, has some cool and animals inside. and reptiles and stuff. So we are going to go check that out and make the best of our day. Yep. See the yellow marker? That's Up on the, on the tree. See? Right. Here, over here. We're just trying to find this one mile loop, which is yellow, and all we see is green, red, some blues. So we're just following it along. Maybe we'll find yellow. Maybe we won't. I don't think we can get that lost. A gorilla that do you I do this to it. Well we're in the bush. 
Okay. Because I have big, strong muscles. That's right, you sure do. In Nature Creek Park is uh, is definitely a good spot to come. Great for little kids, nice and easy, very family friendly, and we would recommend it. Uh, well. It is Sunday morning and we are breaking camp. So we got up this morning at around nine. There was a torrential rainstorm last night that woke us all up. And while I love the sound of rain on the roof, it's great to sleep to. It had me kind of worried about this morning and having to break down the setup of the, of the RV. <laughs> In a torrential downpour. Thankfully we had already put away all of our outdoor stuff, our our mat and our chairs and all that stuff. So that was all dry and underneath. But when we got up this morning the clouds had cleared and the sun had come out so it's damp but it should be a lot simpler breakdown than I had thought it was gonna be. So last shakedown trip has come to an end. It was a, it was a good trip for sure. Got some good time with Christy's parents and got them to get their camper out for the first time this year, which is a little unfortunate, but at least they got it out once. Had some great experiences in Harper's Ferry and really just enjoyed kind of getting used to the, to the camper life. Definitely learned a few more things about our RV and how it works. I'm starting to understand the power and how certain appliances, when they turn on, where they're pulling power from and how much we can use. We had a 30 amp hookup this time, which our RV is set up for 50. So when it's only 30, then we have to kind of manage what appliances we're using at the same time, but only blew the breaker once. And so you know, I think I think we're figuring that out. So that was a learning opportunity there. And then definitely added a few more things to our list of, of need need to get. But other than that, it was a fantastic trip. It was a lot of fun. And we are headed back to Christie's parents' house today. We've got a lot to do in the next month before we take off, but Definitely excited about this adventure and really ready to get it started. So I'm gonna go break down and we will see you in the next video.